What's up guys, Jake here with Jake's Got Herps, not to confuse the herpes, herpes is nasty. In this video I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the nocturnal adaptations that alligators have that make them very efficient at hunting prey at night. A lot of people think of alligators as uh, diurnal predators, meaning they eat m most of their food and consume and kill things uh, during the day, but they are also very efficient uh, nighttime hunters. They're very complex animals. They have a lot of different adaptations that allow them to be successful at what they do, which is obviously to kill and consume different animals. Uh, alligators and other crocodilians, for the most part, are apex predators. They are at the top of the food chain, and uh, you know anything that moves towards the water uh, is fair game for them. And I just wanted to share with you guys some of the adaptations that allow alligators to be so successful at you know what they do um, at nighttime, rather. And uh, one thing that they have that a lot of people know is, hopefully he stays still, on the front of their snout there, or on the, their upper and lower jaws rather, you can see all those little specks. It's kind of hard to see because this acrylic has a lot of watermarks on it and I'm holding this at an awkward angle. But as you can, if you can see those little black specks, those are thousands of little receptors that allow alligators and other crocodilians to you know, sense their prey better in murky water or you know, when the lighting conditions aren't the best. And as you can see, he's fogging up the acrylic by breathing on it, which is kind of interesting. But um, those little receptors allow them to, like I said, uh, be able to detect prey items when the conditions aren't necessarily the greatest, when it's dark or the water's cloudy or uh, something like that. Another cool thing they have, and I turn off his light specifically for this, and hopefully my flashlight doesn't fail on me. Another really cool adaptation of American alligators and other nocturnal vertebrates is the Tapetum leucidum, which uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that 100% correctly because it's been a while since I last took Latin, so forgive me, but it's pretty clearly demonstrated here. As you can see, that's my American alligator's head right there, and it, it's a reflection right there, but um, as you can see, the eyes glow pretty bright. A lot of us have experienced this uh, with, with household pets, and if you haven't and you want to annoy your household pet, take a flashlight and shine it in their eyes and you can clearly see that the light is being reflected back. And this is caused by the tapetum leucidum, like I said, uh, which basically is a pretty thick membrane at the back of the eye. And what that does is it uh, reabsorbs any light that passes through the rods of your eyes and, uh, you know, reflects it back. So basically your eyes have a second chance to reabsorb that. And uh, so it basically just makes the most of minimal light conditions such as a full moon or even the case of like a street light or something like that. It allows these animals to take whatever little light they're given and uh, you know work with it. The only downside to it is uh, the rods in your eyes are very photosensitive and they make the most of you know minimal light conditions but they don't give a very clear image. They don't have any uh, you know color receptors and uh, but American alligators are a good example of why you don't really need color to be an efficient hunter. Their uh, ability to see very well during the dark combined with their other senses such as their little uh, receptors on their upper and lower jaws, their sense of smell, even their sense of uh, hearing allows them to be extremely efficient predators. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by feeding some Missouri crocodilian diet in the dark. Uh, I know I'm using a light but it's, it's very uh, poor compared to the rest of the room. And uh, when he, he's over here right now, he, uh, he has his head turned so I can't see his eye. There we go. But as you can see, he'll start uh, moving around and eating the food. As you can see, that's what he's doing right now. And it's just a really cool thing that uh, alligators have. Like I said earlier in the video, they are very complex predators. They have a, a host of adaptations that make them extremely efficient at what they do. And that's just really interesting to me to learn about, you know, what makes what makes these guys the apex predators that they are. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I thought it'd be kind of interesting. If you guys like these kind of videos talking about uh, you know more natural behaviors of animals, then I can certainly do some more of those videos. And if you want to learn a lot more about different crocodilians, go check out Venoman20. Uh, Brandon's really cool. Uh, I talk to him a lot when I have any questions about you know my alligator or any of my animals really, just pertaining to reptiles. He's a really great guy, and uh, if you want to learn a lot about uh, animals in general, then definitely go check out his channel, Venoman20. I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched his videos in the past, but uh, it'd be really cool if you could go show him a lot of support on his videos, because he's doing a lot of really cool stuff 
uh, heading in the future. He's got a really cool series that's going to be coming out and uh, just a lot of other cool stuff that you should definitely be aware of. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, uh, show me some support by hitting the like button and I will see you guys later. Peace.